girls welcome back to with love portia i'm so glad that you're here today and i hope you're having such a wonderful day i'm so excited i haven't done my hair in a long time and my birthday month is coming up my birthday is september 22nd for those of you who don't know so i want to do my beautiful princess passion twist and i'm gonna do waist length if you also didn't know i'm a natural hairstylist in the cleveland ohio area so if you are in that area and you would love to book any service with me please check out the description down below i will have a website so you can view all of the wonderful beautiful services that i provide okay so today i'm just going to show you how i do my passion twists i actually do them a little bit differently on myself because it is a little bit harder sometimes to do it on myself uh, compared to doing it on someone else. I've been, of course, doing my hair for a very long time, but I'm even more precise and detailed when I'm crowning my queens that are my clients. So in this video, I'm just going to show you how I do them on myself. And this is a style that I love the most when I want to feel romantic and I want to feel like a princess and that's why I call them princess passion twists. So if you want to see how they turn out and how I do them all myself, just keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to use Siri Hollywood, it's one of my favorite brands to use for passion twists here. And the only reason why I love using Zuri is because it's not as soft. It, the hair is soft, but it's not as soft like the free trust hair, and the ends lock a lot easier, so you don't have to rubber band them. And I just love the way they turn out. I'm gonna be using the color 1B today, and I'm also going to use 1B at 30, put a little bit of color in there. Six packs is enough, but we're going to see. I like to put more in my hair, so I might need seven, but we're gonna start off with six. Pre wash, condition, and blow dry. And normally when I do passion twist hair, I love to have my hair blown out. It just blends a lot easier. So I'm gonna start off by sectioning my hair. I have my little mirror here. So I'm gonna be looking in this, this general area. And I usually like to start in the back. So I'm gonna take my white tooth comb and just section my hair. I know this isn't my normal content, but I know you guys always have so many questions when it comes to my hairstyle, especially in the Princess Cottage Core community, but this is one of my favorite styles that I love to do, especially when I want some long, beautiful inches. Okay, Royals, I'm going to start working on my hair and then I'll come back when I get closer to the front, then I'll show you my process. Okay, so I'm halfway done and this is how my hair is looking so far. It's looking very beautiful. So in the back, I started with a French braid, what I like to do on myself, but this method up here is the method that is beginner friendly and this is a method that I use on all of my clients. This just helps to secure their hair longer within the style. So I basically sectioned all of them off and I did neat parting and I started with a braid to secure it and then I twisted it all the way to the end. It doesn't make sense in my opinion for me to braid it all the way to the end because the twists are so much easier to take out and they look more natural when i'm twisting my real hair within the twist so of course i ran out of hair so i think i might need two more packs of hair but i'm going to show you guys as promised how i do this crochet method so i'm going to bring in a little bit okay so taking this section i'm going to use my shiny jam Smooth it out. The Shine and Jam Magic Fingers is actually my favorite to use when I'm doing my clients and when I'm doing my sections instead of two parts. By doing this, I'm just going to create a little bit more fullness in the front. Yeah, these ones 
hands are a little bit smaller, but I'm definitely okay with that. Hello darlings, welcome back to the next day. I have two more packs of hair and I had sectioned off all of my hair so that I could just kind of wear it throughout the day. So we are going to finish up. It's turning out so beautiful so I'm so excited to see the final results. Here I use the Shine and Jam Magic Fingers. I love this stuff. This will just help kind of lay down some of the flyaways. And then I use this Shine and Jam Finishing Sheen. I just forgot to do the bottoms for Sheen. Hello Royals! It is actually a couple days later, but I still wanted to come on and show you my final results like I promised. This is one of my absolute favorite hairstyles, especially around my birthday time and since it's my birthday month, it's really great for me to just make sure my hair is very low maintenance the whole entire time so I don't have to worry about it. So I will show you guys the back. I put it in this really, really cute half up, half down style that I just love with this lilac lavender dress. So that's what the back is looking like. And then I can also stand up so you guys can see how long it goes. So this is the 22 inch. And it goes all the way down to my waist. Okay, so I did my edges off camera, but I wanted to show you guys the product that I use. It is the Even New York 24 Hour Edge Tamer. This is actually really, really great for type 4 hair. I also not only use this for myself, but I use this for my clients. And then just to twist my hair, I used the Magic Finger Shine and Jam, which is the red bottle and also the regular Shine and Jam conditioning gel. You can pick this up at your local beauty store and also I do believe Dollar Trees and Dollar Generals do carry this yellow shiny brand but they do not carry the red one. And then I use my setting mousse by Shine and Jam Magic Fingers all over my twist. And then the next item that I used was the Shine and Jam Magic Fingers finishing sheet. On my maintenance routine works, I make sure I put on my satin bonnet and I sleep with a satin pillowcase at nighttime. And I will go in and either use my jojoba oil or my black Jamaican castor oil in coconut. I love so much how this smells and every other day I will just oil and moisturize my scalp and I will also do a DIY conditioning spray mist so that that moisture is sealed inside my scalp because you also have to remember your scalp is skin so you you always want to make sure you're moisturizing it and then just for regular sheen throughout my twist I will probably just go back in with the magic fingers finishing Sheen. Okay Royals, thank you so much for watching my video. Please let me know if you love 
more hair videos like this and down in the comments let me know if you want me to make hairstyle videos i know um i try to do some hairstyle videos also over on my social media platform so if you guys haven't already please definitely follow me there if i've gone too long on my channel i also make a lot of different feminine content that you can be inspired by too this is all for my video today thank you guys so very much for watching and remember this is a safe place for you to be your own modern day princess until next time